Hey guys, welcome back to part 22. Sorry I haven't been making videos for a couple days. I've been in the process of moving, but never mind that. Let's get back to business. Okay, so in the last video, it was very long and I kind of fell asleep halfway through it. So I promise I will make this video very short and sweet. So here's our content.php page. And right off the bat, uh, I want to change our CSS to help distinguish between our two tables. Because right now, I think the font size is the exact same. And the only way we can really tell is from this indentation. So I'm going to go to our CSS file the only one that we have. I'm going to open it up with TextMate. And it opened up in my external browser. And what was this? This was Pages? Okay, so I'm going to give it just a font size of 10 pixels. That's okay with you guys. Let's close that out and let's reload it. Too small. Let's try, let's try 13. Okay, I can I can work with that. Is that cool with you guys? Okay, so here's our content.php page. And can anybody tell me what's wrong? That's right. We did not pull all of the information that we wanted to in our database, from our database. And does anybody know why? It's because I'm getting lazy with my variables and I'm using the same one. So let's go ahead and call them something new. So I'm going to go ahead to my content.php page. And, okay, so instead of a result, because we're already using it down here, I am going to, I'm just going to go ahead and call this, what's our first table called? Information, I'll just call this info set. Excuse me, okay, and for connection is fine. For this variable, I'm going to go ahead and call it just info. Okay, and let's get rid of row, use the same variable, info, do, do, do. and then instead of result for this one, I'll just type, what's their second table called, pages, page, okay, we'll just call this page set, and let's scroll along, find our variables, okay, let's get rid of row, and let's go ahead and call this what we set our fetch array to info okay looking good so far I hope this works the first time through again here is row so we're just gonna substitute it with info and what did we set result to we set result to was it info set or page set where's our where's page set because we want this to have a different result and in our first loop, we use the same result. So let's go ahead and we have this set to info underscore set. And we'll set this to page underscore set. And instead of row, we'll go ahead and call this page. Because again, this is a different loop. So let's cross our fingers and reload it and see if this sources in the rest of the database that we wanted. So command R, nope, time to pause the video. Okay, did anybody catch our mistake? We still had a variable we declared here called result that does not have a value anymore. So let's go ahead and what do we name this? Info set. Let's save this and let's reload it now. Okay, let's pause the video because it did not source our pages information. So let's go ahead and pause it. All right, that actually took me like 20 seconds, which is 20 seconds longer. Here is our variable. We declare we, we echoed it wrong. We need to echo info right here because we're shooting out our query and we're returning it to our browser. So let's go ahead and get rid of that and type in info and this should work. Command save, third time's a charm. Voila, how perfect does that look? So we have our first table right here with uh, our field of this is Village Park, no, our menu of this is Village Park, videos and services, and then we've got our table of what we call this pages to create a relational database because we set this to the same information underscore ID to this one, and then for videos, we created new PHP video. So, hope you guys are following along. Good luck. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.